War Diary Day 508 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Yesterday, Vladimir Putin said that the Ukrainian counteroffensive had failed. This morning, around three o'clock, a Ukrainian unmanned naval drone, basically that's a, that's a boat with a lot of explosives on it with no crew, uh, controlled by some smart kid with an iPad, blew up a section of the Kerch Bridge, which links Soviet-occupied Crimea, Russian-occupied Crimea, um, with Russia proper. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's a bloody good answer to Ukraine, uh, to uh, Vladimir Putin's point that the uh, the war is uh, not going Ukraine's way. They've just blown up your bloody bridge, mate. Hello. Once again, this underlines the fragility of Russia's war. In that Crimea is the apple of the of the Russian eye. This was basically in the bad old days of the Soviet Union. This was the beach everybody could go to. <clears throat> in the, um, something like 56, Khrushchev um, gives Crimea to Ukraine, and so legally it has been Ukraine ever since, and was Ukraine since 91. 2014, the Russians occupy it, but this is a land grab. This is this kind of stuff that Hitler did to Czechoslovakia and Poland. It, this is not on. And now... Ukrainians are making this place militarily untenable. It's much bigger, but it's roughly the shape of the Isle of Wight. Imagine trying to hold on to the Isle of Wight if you can't resupply uh, your soldiers with bullets and ammo. Um, in a, um, <laughs> you can only do it by ship, and ships are vulnerable, as we all know. So once again, Vladimir Putin's military strategy is in tatters. His propaganda looks foolish. And the Ukrainians have a smart victory. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.